I'm pretty positive. We heard this morning from uh, another speaker about uh, predictions of oil price and predictions of the market, both very positive. Um, the industry has kind of learned uh, to uh, try to uh, improve our cost basis, to be more economic, to do more projects. Uh, in fact, it was uh, estimated there could be up to 33 uh, new FPSO projects, which will be a challenge for the industry in a cyclical industry to have the capacity of people, of uh, suppliers, of fabrication yards. Uh, it's a challenge, but uh, the industry is, uh, is very excited about it. Definitely. We're, uh, we're, uh, a very popular term nowadays is uh, digital transformation. It's basically making use of the data that you have coming in from your facilities to operate them more safely, more reliable, operate, operate easier, do better maintenance. And actually young people are uh, a great asset to attract into the industry. People with data science abilities, data analytics, uh, augmented reality, virtual reality. These are all technologies that the, the younger people are, are, uh, are more uh, familiar with, more open to, and will help us operate uh, our facilities better. So it's, it's a win-win. Well, what's, what's interesting to our, to our offshore market is obviously a big competitor has been the onshore unconventional shale assets. But we also saw this morning that they've had a tremendous uh, cost increases over the last few months, over the past year of 20 to 30 percent. So um, unconventional resources are hard work. You have to drill a lot of wells. You have to put a lot of facilities in. Offshore assets are generally longer life. Uh, maybe you have to put more capital in on an individual resource, but we have that ability. And so we can, uh, we can learn to do these more economically, to operate them more efficiently, to pay attention to our life cycle costs. Um, so I think the offshore industry can be a good competition uh, for, for onshore unconventionals. I think if you ask 10 people what the oil price will do, you'll probably get 10 different predictions. But generally, people have a, a, a positive view for how things will go. There is some, some near-term softness in uh, supply and demand where the oil price might dip back down uh, in the lower 60s. But generally, the predictions that we heard uh, today at the conference were uh, over a period of time back up to uh, the low 80s. So. Uh, I think the market would like to see the oil price above $60 a barrel and uh, we'd like a little stability even if that meant um, it wasn't moving so much. The stability allows us to plan our, our, our developments and, uh, and be economic.